Well, the midterms are just hours away now, and early and mail-in voting has been especially strong here in Dane County. Is that the case nationwide? Moments ago, we talked with CBS's chief White House correspondent, Nancy Cordes. What are you seeing when it comes to early voting? Hi, Susan. Hi, Mark. It's so great to be with you. Yeah, when it comes to early voting, uh, we're already seeing records smashed that were set back in 2018. More than 40 million Americans have already voted early. And as is typical in recent history, uh, registered Democrats outnumber registered Re Republicans when it comes to who's voting right now, voting early. But we know that Republicans tend to come out in larger numbers on Election Day. So there's not that many conclusions we can draw from these early votes about exactly who's going to win various races on Election Day. But turnout is going to be the key tomorrow. Oh, no question, particularly in tough races like the ones you've got in Wisconsin for, for governor and Senate. Uh, and it's really going to come down in many cases to which issues are animating voters right now. Uh, there's been a lot of polling trying to figure out, uh, is it those kitchen table issues, things like the economy, things like inflation, crime, uh, those are issues that Republicans have really been focused on. Uh, is abortion going to continue to be a major issue that drives Democratic turnout? Those are big questions that we're not going to be able to answer until we uh, we both we see the outcome of some of these races and we get a look at the exit polling and we understand better what ended up motivating people to get out and vote at the end of the day. Control of Congress is at stake tomorrow night. What is it going to mean uh, if Republicans take over the House or the Senate or both? What it will mean for President Biden is that much of his agenda will be stopped dead in its tracks. He's just not going to be able to get Republicans in the House, for example, to go along with a lot of the things that he wants to do. He'll have to try to find areas of agreement, but those are few and far between, particularly with conservative Republicans who are going to uh, run the House if they are able to win back control. Uh, and it's also going to mean that he's going to have his hands full dealing with a lot of new Republicans. Republican investigations. Republicans have made it very clear that they plan to investigate everything from his son's business dealings to uh, crises at the border to the origins of coronavirus. I think it was uh, your own Senator Ron Johnson who said that it's a target rich environment. He said he'd be like a mosquito in a nudist colony. Uh, I'm sure you recall when it comes to uh, looking for things about the Biden White House to investigate if he's reelected. And this could be an historic night for women women candidates as well. On election day, there are 25 women on the ballot in governor's races. That is a record. And in five states, there are actually women running against women. For many states, it's going to be a long evening. We may not know at the end of the evening uh, who the winners are. But for voters, especially in this current climate, if things take a while, what is it that they should be paying attention to? Well, they should not be paying attention to misinformation that suggests that something untoward is going on or that there's something fishy about the fact that it's taking time to, to count these votes. Uh, that has been the case for time immemorial, that in some states in particular, it takes longer to count all the votes. There are states like Pennsylvania, for example, a big battleground state where they're not allowed to start processing all those early votes uh, until election day. So it can take time. And in a close race, that means you may not know the outcome. It may mean that it looks like the race is going one way because all of the um, day of votes have been tabulated, but the early votes have it. Um, and so if you see big swings, it doesn't mean that anyone is messing with the numbers. Uh, it just means that in our democratic system, sometimes these things takes take time. Uh, and in some cases, uh, they could take a week. It's going to be an exciting and long night. Nancy, get some rest tonight. And we'll see you on the CBS News tomorrow. We will see you tomorrow night, Nancy. Thank you so much for your time.